The question says, if x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10 is divided by this, what's the remainder? So let us divide it. Let's use and to solve first. Then we are going to solve using the calculator method as well. So we have x cubed inside minus 3x squared minus 10. So we will be dividing it one after the other. The only thing you are going to be using is this x. You'll be using this x to divide all this. x cubed divided by x is like you are saying x cubed over x. That's it. You can see that this is one x. It will come and cancel one of the x's, so it remains two. So x cubed divided by x will be x squared. So that's it. So you now use this x squared to multiply these two. x squared times x will give us x cubed. x squared times minus 3 will be minus 3x squared. Then you now subtract. So if you subtract, x cubed minus x cubed will be 0. Minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared, that will be what? That will be minus 3x squared plus 3x squared, that will be 0 as well. So what's remaining here is what? Is minus 10. Are we all together? Now what's remaining here is minus 10. Now you cannot divide this anymore. So you can see that the, the value that remains is what? Is just minus 10. Is just minus 10. So if you have this, the final answer is minus 10 here. So the correct answer is minus 10. So now let's use on our calculator. If you press on the calculator, they said x minus 3. Well, let us press. If you want to press this, you will have it to be. So you are going to take your x to be equal to. You, you are going to have it. You know, what you want to use it to divide is x minus 3. So turn it to factor. So that means x is equal to 3. Because if you have it to be x minus 3 is 0, so that means x is equal to what? 3. You now substitute inside this. You now have it to be into bracket 3. Always power 3. Minus 3 into bracket 3. Always power 2. Minus 10. So press equals 2. Can you see that the answer is what? Is minus 10. So that's the answer. So answer is minus 10. So it's not in the option. It's not in the option. So the correct answer is minus 10. So that is how you what? You use to calculate the question in this format. Now, so that you can know that you are very much correct, let me bring a similar question to this question. It's not to this question. Also says if now can you see this question? So even it is this one that owns this option self. So now can you see? The question says if x cube minus three x square minus thirteen x minus ten is is divided is divided by x minus 3 find the remainder now we are asked to find the remainder the the funny thing is that we are using the same option here the same option that is there option a minus 49 option b 23 option c 15 option d 4.5 we are using the same option so we want to use the same option and let us go with the same principle we are dividing by x minus 3 and what is that is x cube minus 3 x squared minus 13x minus 10. Now, what will be the remainder? The remainder here is, when I divide x cubed by 3, it will give us x squared. So now use x squared to multiply the 2. x squared times x, that's x cubed. x squared times minus 3, that's minus 3x squared. Then subtract. We subtract, we have x cubed minus x cubed, that's 0. Minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared, that's minus 3x squared plus 3x squared. That's also 0. And now write the remaining here. The remaining here is minus 13x. Minus 10. Now divide minus 13 x divided by x will give us minus 13. So you now have it to be minus 13 times x, that is minus 13 x. The minus 13 times minus 3. Minus 13 times minus 3, that will give us 39. So that's plus 39. You still subtract this. We subtract minus 13 x minus minus 13 x, that is minus 13 x plus 13 x, that is 0. Then this one is minus 10 minus plus 39. Now have minus 10 minus 39. That's minus 49. So the remainder is minus 49, which is what? Option A. Now, if you want to use your calculator to solve as well, you are going to bring up this one, which is x minus 3. You equate it to be 0. Then you now take this minus 3 out. That means x is equal to what? 3. So if x is equal to 3, so just substitute the value of x with 3 in the question given to you. And let us substitute. Now have into bracket minus 3, always power what? 3, minus 3 into bracket 3, sorry, sorry, our x is 3 now. So that means we have into bracket, since this one is x cube, and our x is 3. Or better still, just press it to be x raised power 3, then 
then minus 3 alpha x raised power 2, minus 13 alpha x, minus 10. So I can use it now. I'll press it down. Now press calculate. So when you press calculate, the calculator will ask you what's the value of x. And what's the value of x that we want to input 3? So press 3 and press equals 2. What's the answer here? Minus 49. So that's how to do this. So like, comment, and subscribe. At the comment section, let me know if you are getting it. If you get this well, just send a love emoji to the comment section. Thank you very much. God bless you. I mean, inshallah, you bless my name. Popularly known as General David.